Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that don't know me, I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee. So what are we doing today? Today we're installing a winch on my car hauling trailer and a front mount jack to this car hauling trailer, but not necessarily in that order. I told you guys at the beginning of the series we're gonna straighten this jack up here. Look how crooked it is, see there? And I could, uh, but it's kind of wore out. And guess what, that darn harbor freight, you know, you mess around with coupons and stuff like that. And I just got a new jack for 20 bucks. So I'm just gonna lower it down on that jack stand there. That'll be the first step. So that's why you're supposed to wear safety glasses when then things explode on you. I think I have some cut off wheels here somewhere, but let me ask you something, guys. Do you ever do this? I was looking through my drawers and I thought I mentioned it. Look at this, look. So why on earth, why does anybody, including myself, save all these little pieces of cut off wheels? Completely worthless. I'll never use them because they're completely wore out. But yet, I got them in my top drawer in my toolbox. Like there's some kind of valuable prize. Check it out. Ha <laughs> ha! Over all this, look at there. You guys see what I see? Do you see what I see? Look at there. Four new cutoff wheels. I'm gonna keep this jack and I'll probably use it for something somewhere, but the whole time I was cutting it off, I was thinking, how far can I sling this thing across the yard? So you guys, guess right now, and leave your guess in the comments below. Let's see who gets the closest, and I'll sling this thing in the yard and see what we can do. All right, here I go, don't cheat. You should already left your comment. Keep in mind I'm old, so I doubt it's gonna go very far. We'll start at the table. Probably the best way right there. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, if you guess 27 feet, you are the winner of absolutely nothing but guessing the right distance that I threw that crappy jack. But you still can win this authentic Kentucky license plate. All you have to do is leave a comment and hit the like button. <sighs> I got her all cleaned up pretty good, and this is not an essential part of doing this job, but since I have it, I'm gonna spray it with this weld proof primer. All welded up, let's give her a shot, see how she does. Nice. Nice. I believe we're in good shape with this repair, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! 12,000 pound winch. So I can pull junk up on this trailer anytime I want to at the touch of a button, baby. Let's get this thing unpackaged, and we need to make a bracket in the front of the trailer for it. Here's the beginning stages of our bracket, and it's 12 by 12, and I went down four and a half inches and put this groove in it with a grinder. And now I'm gonna bend it at a 90 degree angle. You'll see where I'm going with this. At this point, it'd be awesome to have a break, but I don't even own these clamps right here. So we need to improvise. Ah. Oh, gotta run outside and get a bit. Well, so not as easy as initially planned out. 
but she's got a nice smooth edge there and on the inside I'll just weld it up right there it'll be a nice little bracket this is my progress on the bracket I drilled the holes here I put a slot there and I drilled the holes back here for the winch the way this is gonna work is this piece I don't know what they call that the flail or something I don't know bolts on there cable will run through there so I'm a little worried my brackets not quite heavy enough so I took this piece of just solid square stock I ground it so that the weld wouldn't be in the way and I'm gonna lay it flat right there in the back of the uh, bracket and I also made these gussets and they're gonna fit like that and then the winch will go back here in the back part and then roller flail whatever you call it in the front so let me get all this part welded up and we will move on to the next step there it is and this is how it's gonna sit on the trailer too kind of about like back here and my next move I made these two Woo! and they're super hot I gotta do it quick these two plates here and they're gonna fit under there just like that ow Woo! hot you get the point they'll fit under there and go at an angle I'll weld them to this the bottom uh, tubing and the top tubing we'll see what it looks like after that Here's a view of the bracket all welded up and I did add two more gussets right here because I got to thinking when that winch pulls from the front it's gonna want to pull this back part so I thought if I made it a little more secure back there it'd make it a little tougher a little stronger there's a battery box easy enough just angle iron cut it 45s and weld it to that brace there so I guess now it's time to put everything together, guys. When I first placed this winch on the bracket, I had it backwards, I had it spun around, and it has an arrow here showing the direction the wire is supposed to spool on this drum. So now just we'll put this on here. The wires are pretty much self-explanatory. They're color-coded. Yellow, yellow. Here's red and it's a short one so it'll go here. Here's black. Now it, it goes right here. Alright, so it comes with this black cable here that runs to the battery. And there's also a little black cable that comes out of the box right here that probably needs to be grounded so they want you to put these two wires underneath here the big red wire that goes to the battery comes with these circuit breakers that need to be hooked up and one side says battery I don't know if it matters I wouldn't think it matters but we'll just hook it up battery side to battery and the other side of this cable doesn't make any difference I doubt so our winch is looking pretty good despite the pig pen mess all around it. But there she is mounted tight onto our bracket, our nice battery tray. So I still need a few things. I need to get some marine type terminals so I can bolt those cables to the battery. Uh, I also need a tie down of some kind for the battery. but. She's all hooked up and ready to go, so let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. Nice. Smooth. Looking good, boys. I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. I hope, it's, I hope it works good and it holds up for me, the bracket, and I think it will. 
The only other thing I have to do, if you guys notice, look at the gap between there and there, and there and there, and look, all it's got is a little bit of metal on each end, right there. So I'm going to put two pieces of angle iron right about here, down one there to weld to that bottom tubing, probably right there to that tubing there, and go up, and another piece on the other side, angle iron, there to there. What that'll do is stiffen that up and prevent it from folding over on me. And the bracket also is going to help with that. So you guys are up to speed on what needs to be finished up with the winch. Now I'm going to show you a few other little things that need to be fixed on this trailer. And I'm not going to film it because it just, you know, it's just little piddly stuff. Like, for example, look at this. They gouged this out here. I'll just cut a piece of metal, weld it in there. There's a couple welds broke loose here and there. These pins I am going to incorporate with the ramps. See how they're tied with a bungee cord? Both of the ramps? I like to use these pins somehow to hold those ramps in. And let me show you the ramps, by the way, real quick. There's the ramps. This one's the worst. See, it's got a big bend in it. And they're bowed up like a banana. Both of them a little bit. I'm just going to straighten those up. And again, not, not film worthy in my opinion. Let's talk about the fenders. I was going to fix those up, patch them up, weld them up. But I changed my mind. I decided I would like some nice thick fenders. 13 gauge is what I got. And I will show you a sneak preview of the fenders. And here they are. See that metal's all bent up there in the shape of a fender, kind of, sort of. And we're going to shape them, make them into fenders, and weld them up on this old junky trailer. So that does it for today, guys. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you hadn't already. Turn on the notification bell, hit the like button, and leave a comment. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it will help my channel to grow tremendously. And I would appreciate that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.